Alexandria Karen, and this is Politically Charged. Today's discussion will tackle how our government's response, or lack thereof, has been towards natural disasters and national tragedy. As of recently, two Category 5 hurricanes swept through the Atlantic Sea, destroying two U.S. territories, the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Joining me are co-hosts Jared Bowman, Alyssa De La Cruz, and Brittany Palmer. And now, obviously, there's been a lack of media response in this. I know at least when I was researching this topic, like statistics for Puerto Rico, everywhere. But for the U.S. Virgin Islands, I could find next to nothing. I mean, it's already hard enough with getting America in general just to recognize that these territories are a part of our responsibility when it comes to these issues. Like, I understand that you, know, you see Puerto Rico as your vacation destination or just somewhere that is separate from us. But we have a responsibility to them. They are U.S. citizens. We have to make sure that we take care of them in their time of need. Now, absolutely. A recent poll that was done showed that 66% of Americans, even the ones who wanted us to have a better response to the hurricane relief there, didn't realize that Puerto Ricans and U U.S. Virgin Islands citizens aren't considered Amer are considered American citizens. They didn't realize that they are entitled to the same emergency response as any other state in the United States. And do you think that's from a lack of the media? I mean, we don't see a big push to sh showcase this. I mean, I think that comes from a lack of education around what territories actually are and what our responsibilities to them are, and then the fact that the media has a responsibility to the American public to serve us with that information. If you're going to talk about the fact that there's a hurricane in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands that are hitting these places, don't make it just about Florida. Don't make it just about when it actually hits mainland, because these people are our concern as well, and you have a responsibility to say why they are our concern, put in a couple of details. If you're going to put it on your website, make sure you say something about it. If you're going to come on Twitter and talk about it, make sure you sacrifice 140 characters to talk about the fact that they are our responsibility as well. Absolutely. I mean, I know at least in Puerto Rico and in the U.S. Virgin Islands, there were at least a million homes without power just when Hurricane Harvey, you know, grazed it. And all that we heard about was Texas and Florida. It's ridiculous. However, the social media response has been pretty strong from what I've heard. I mean, I'm an avid Twitter user. I'm on Twitter pretty much 500 times a day. Um, so I get, a, I mean, honestly, I get a lot of my news Well, you Twitter. and the president, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, sadly, I follow his account, too. Yeah. It's fine. Um, but honestly, I do get a lot of my news through Twitter because people on Twitter tend to actually cover things a lot faster, whether they're covering it through what they know about their families that are there, because a lot of pe people have ties to these countries and these islands. Um, so of course they're going to talk about the fact that you know their childhood home no longer has a roof or they haven't had contact with their grandmother in three days after this event has happened. And then you have people like the president who go up on Twitter and they criticize the mayor there as if it's her issue that, th like they invited a hurricane in to come to the island. Absolutely. Now the response from the mayor I know was a point of controversy, at least in San Juan. Um, yeah, I mean, I personally had some issues with it. Um, I mean, she seemed much more concerned about uh, the president's responses to the disaster rather than actually uh, assisting in relief for the disaster in the first place. I mean, she didn't even she didn't even personally visit the FEMA headquarters on the island until Trump actually visited. Um, so I mean, I, I, it seems kind of ridiculous to me that she had time in order to make a custom T-shirt that said "Help us, we are dying," but she wouldn't even go and personally visit the FEMA HQ. Well, but of Trump course, that T-shirt was showcased in one of the few media responses there. Right, is one of the few ways that. Everyone suddenly was paying attention mm -hmm. to the Virgin Islands. Even I saw that screenshot on places like Twitter, Facebook. It mm. made a difference. Do you think that was not worth her time? Um, I, no, not particularly. And I mean, I would like to point out that she's the mayor of San Juan. I don't know what the Virgin Islands had to do with So then this. do you really believe that all she did in San Juan was make a t-shirt? Uh, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. What, I'm, what I am saying is that she has relegated her time in order to go out and just bash the president instead of actually doing something about the actual situation at hand. But like what is she supposed to do when we have no money? Like he's sitting there and he's not coming to help so she's trying to say you need to come here and help us. We don't even have- the, Even the governor of Puerto Rico is saying that the federal government is doing everything that they possibly can. I mean they sent two light amphibious carriers to the island before the storm hit. Okay, but we've seen the response in Katrina, 
right? Mm -hmm. That wasn't that long ago. Within four days of Katrina happening, there were 40,000 National Guards troop on the ground and 240 helicopters in the skies. And mm -hmm. obviously that number multiplied over time. We did not see that response in Puerto Rico or the Virgin Islands, let alone that soon. And they had 20 days to prepare just between Harvey and mm -hmm. Maria. Mm -hmm. I would like to point out that Katrina cost about 1,800 lives. Um, so far, the death toll in Puerto Rico is around like 45. Um, but, I don't think that the response to Katrina and Puerto Rico should be equivalent. But the deaths aren't what you're responding to, is it? Sorry, go well, ahead. I mean, no, it, even no, still, it, yeah, you are correct about that. Even still, it is the death toll is not what you're responding to. What you're responding to is the area upon which is affected, and, an island has sort of limited amount of damage so you're done to that it people instead on an of island have no right to mm -hmm. be given resources to protect them or to rescue no, them in these no, kinds that's of not, issues no that's not what i'm saying just because no that's Katrina not what, happened on mainland versus on an island no that's somewhere. not no that's not what i'm saying at all what i'm saying is that the affected area of 5 us states is a little bit more important than a us territory and i think that resources but should see, be so mainland to it. states are more important than puerto rico but so no, that's, that's not what when I'm, that's not what i'm saying at all what i'm saying is that the response should be proportional I mean, I I don't see why. I I mean, I really don't see why tens of millions of people without power in 2005 when Hurricane Katrina happened. I don't see why more people affected should get more supplies. Because at the end of the day, people are people, and lives mm -hmm. are lives. You have to do what is necessary in order to maintain the quality of life. Exactly. That's a human right and, across the board. And I agree but with you on that. And also I, it's not just a human I, right. As we've already established, you're comparing U.S. territories to statehood. But mm -hmm. in this scenario, they have the exact same mm -hmm. rights as a statehood. They're supposed to be given the same exact efficient methods and the same exact supplies. Mm -hmm. so, so how would you change the response that has actually been attributed to this hurricane? Because, I mean, obviously we can't send every single ship in the U.S. military there. And obviously you're not pleased with the current with the current influx of supplies there. So, I mean, what what is your solution well, for this Well, first of all, I think the military response is different than, saying, the National Guard response, right? The National Guard's main priority while being stationed in America is to handle nat natural disasters like this. So I'm not saying you send out every ship in the military, mm -hmm. right? I don't know if anyone else wants to respond to this yeah, question, but Yeah, but you send out something because I think what people forget is that we are American citizens. Like, Puerto Rico are American citizens. Nobody's denying that. Or, but why are we getting treated differently? Why are You're people, not. but then why didn't we get help? Uh, why? You did get help. We so said, why are you trying to say that they're not, imp like the people send, who died and the people who don't have power are not as important as the people okay, in so Katrina let me, who died? Okay, All right, okay, so well hold on, hold on. Let me, let me respond to this. Sure. Okay, we sent two light amphibious carriers down there. Um, I believe that they were the, uh, the Sertsis and the Wasp. And we also sent uh, a large amphibious ship called the, uh, what was it, uh, the Doak Hill down there. Um, each of those ships have large flight decks that you're able to lift CH-53 heavy helicopters off of. And they also have uh, built-in well decks in them where you can launch amphibious ships from them carrying about 150 tons of supplies each. So I, I guess I'd, I mean, how but would you change the response to that? But are the supplies getting to the people as efficiently as they could be? Because we've seen, again, 20 days between the two hurricanes, and that n number of people without power decreased not even by 20%, mm -hmm. right? They could have been doing more. And while we say, oh, you know, they need food, they need supplies, electricity is kind of negligible, it's really not. I mean, these people haven't had access to laundry machines, they haven't had access to warm water. Mm -hmm. How are you supposed to live like I, that? I agree that that is an issue. I don't. I, I okay. guess I don't really see your your point here. You seem to be complaining that after a natural disaster, that everything is not fixed immediately. The federal government is trying to supply people as best as they can. Even the Puerto Rican okay. governor is. Well, then let's that. take it to how the president himself responded, right? Because mm -hmm. a lot of the terminology that I'm hearing, I know that I've also seen in his Twitter feed, right? Like right. talking about how. What was it? We've sent ships. They're kind of giving themselves a pat on the back, specifically mm -hmm. Trump saying we've done such a great job. Everyone's happy now. Um, I don't know if anyone else has been paying attention to Trump's Twitter feed yeah. mm -hmm. or some of the videos of his I trip mean, down to Puerto Rico. Recently, I just saw when he was doing the Maria Hurricane Relief, he was throwing paper towels 
at the people in Puerto Rico. Why are you throwing paper towels and why are you not handing them out? Yeah. And people try to compare it as like, oh, he's at a basketball game throwing T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, like, no. that's what it looked like yeah. to me. It looked like he was aiming a T-shirt gun into a crowd. Yeah. and Like these are people who have no power, who lost their homes. Reach out your hand and hand it to them. Don't throw it at them like this is a basketball game. Yeah, like yeah. don't act as if you don't want to get close and personal and touch someone who's from Puerto Rico. Right. Be humble in that sense where you're actually interacting with these people and making them feel like everything's going to be okay. Throwing paper towels at me does not make me feel like everything's okay. It makes me feel like you treat it, you're treating this as if it's a game, and it's not. My life mm -hmm. is on the line right now. Mm -hmm. My hygiene is on the line right now because I can't have access to warm water and I'm surrounded by a lot of debris and all of these things that are making it hard for me to sustain a sensible way of living. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I yeah. would agree I would agree with that. I mean for I mean for a guy that built his life off of basically an image and a brand, um, he, he's kind of been uh, less than satisfactory with that in his presidency so far. Yeah, which is kind of strange, right? <laughs> when you run for president, you think that would be the part that increases. But, of course, he cited some excuses. Mm -hmm. It's part of the reason that the government feels that they're doing a good job. One of which was that Puerto Rico is an island, something that you brought up earlier, saying mm -hmm. it's a bit harder to get supplies there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's we did have time to prepare, right? I know that sure. even you have numbers about how we prepared ahead of time, and yet the response seems to be lacking. Do you mm -hmm. think that they prepared as efficiently as possible? I mean, I, I, I wish that more had been done previously. Um, I, I think that people have gone a little bit too far the other way and said that, I mean, some have said that, oh, well, like, no prep was done ahead of time for this. He basically just left them there to die. That's obviously not true. Um, I, I think that the response, as we progressed with this over time, um, especially after Katrina, this changed, um, that the federal government had a more uh, direct response in regards to uh, in regards to preparing for and providing relief after natural disasters. Um, I know that uh, during Hurricane Trina, um, the the New Orleans uh, mayor at the time, um, yeah. who was what was his name, uh, Ray Nagan. Um, I mean. I mean, personally, I think that he was to blame for Hurricane Katrina because he issued a voluntary All right. evacuation well, instead of a mandatory one. Unfortunately, well, I would love to hear about how this mayor caused a hurricane. We are <laughs> out not. of time for today. Thank you so much. We'll get back to this topic next time. <laughs>